I hope you don't mind my having ingratiated myself into the most palatable graces of your provisions. You find me quite sated indeed. Hmm, yes, what a delightful wedge of old Elthurian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Uh, right. Um, you see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can. For swearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mr. would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mr. is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the Absolute, that most insidious of evils. They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the Single drops, we think we are, do not realize what waves we are building up to be. Do not discount yourself, and by the same token, do not discount your enemy. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying, it threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. The orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the Absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. No, indeed. But I think she trusts me too. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the Absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. 
With that, I've said my sorry piece. And need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. Mine ahastra mistraria Italian thras anas It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gael himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. The Doddering Act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms. Perhaps in existence. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer, or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Of course, we offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is Find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. Possibly the most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes. I'm living on borrowed time in more ways than one. Perhaps. Perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Hmm. And I suppose there is nothing more to be done but find the heart of the Absolute and stop its beating. 